Hi everybody, it's me, Lisa T, coming at you with some positive energy. I want to get a little color in the video, it's kind of plain. Uh, me, Lisa T, coming at you with some positive energy, reading The Language of Letting Go by Melody BT. Okay, I need some words of wisdom today. All right, awareness, we did that. Letting go of self-criticism, we did that. We can trust ourselves. Yes, November 27th. We can trust ourselves. Um, I know I went through a major phase. This is probably a few years back now, like three or four. And I was learning like, oh, right. The reason that I have a struggle with trusting myself is because I was my mental mindset was still living in my past poor decisions. And I had, to, even though I was recovering, um, I had an inability to trust myself. Like, cause, because when I was in my traumas, in my fears, in my, you know, not recovering stages, I, um, I was behaving and acting from fear, from guilt, from shame, from all these things. So I wasn't trusting my gut instincts. I was going from my, these feelings, you know, and, and in recovery, we can learn to trust that gut feeling. We can learn to trust ourselves again. So <clears throat> we can trust ourselves. For many of us, the issue is not whether we can trust another person again. It's whether we can, again, and again is the key word there. It's whether we can trust our own judgment again. The last mistake I made almost cost me my sanity. The last mistake, yes, I, and I still, of course, we're going to make mistakes. We, le we learn from our mistakes these days, right? Um, but I still, I find myself, I, I'm, it's, it's much better, but I find when I do make a mistake, I, I can be so immediately hard on myself, like, oh, I know better and I should have, and all the should have and shouldn't have come up and um, it can make me go crazy because I, I get so stuck in that like panic mode of I should have, I should have, I should have, instead of immediately going to, okay, what can I learn from the situation, which I'm doing better these days. And I, I can, a situation comes up, it's, it's been happening in the last three weeks, especially where things are things are happening, like so-called problems are happening, but immediately I'm like, oh, this is happening for my higher good. That's how I turn to living in the solution instead of the problem. But if, we, if we're making mistakes and then beating on ourselves, it can definitely cost us our sanity. So the last mistake I made almost cost me my sanity, said one recovering woman who married a sex addict. I can't afford to make another mistake like that. And that was my dialogue too. I can't afford to make any more mistakes when that's not the truth. We can make mistakes. It's okay. So many of us have trusted people who went on to deceive, abuse, manipulate, or otherwise exploit us because we trusted them. That was my past. I always, I, I remember years, this is probably like probably a decade ago, learning about trust and learning that I don't, because I automatically gave trust to everybody and everything. And um, I learned that people need to earn our trust and situate, you know, we, trust is an earned thing. It's not a granted thing. So um, when, when you're, if you were someone like me who just gave trust immediately, then of course there was situations of abuse, manipulations and ex exploitation when we trusted people. So we may have found these people charming, kind, and decent. There may have been a small voice that said, no, something's wrong. And that small voice is coming from the guts and the heart. Something's wrong here. Or we may have been comfortable with trusting that person and shocked when we found that our instincts were wrong. That we may, sorry, we may have been comfortable with trusting that person, but shocked when we found our instincts were wrong. So we're comfortable trusting them, but then our instincts served us wrong. So it's, that will cause a creation of like, oh, I can't trust myself, right? I can't even trust my own instincts. So no, that's not the case. The issue may then reverberate through our life for years. Our trust in others may have been shaken, but our trust in ourselves may have been shaken worse. So when we're putting, like that was my thing, when I put my, when I gave trust away so easily and got abused and manipulated and exploited, um, then learning, then the trust, trusting myself thing was the most um, shattering part. How could something feel so right, feel so good and be such a total mistake? We may wonder, how can I ever trust my selection process again when it showed itself to be so faulty? We may never have the answers. I believe I needed to make certain mistakes to learn critical lessons. And I'm not certain I would have otherwise learned. We cannot let our past interfere with our ability to trust ourselves, I want to add, now. We cannot afford to function with fear. We can't function with fear. If we, if we, if we move through the world through a filter of fear, um, we will self fulfill. So we will have a self fulfilling prophecy. <clears throat> so we're like, because we're, we're looking through the filter of fear, so we will see fearful things. 
If we are always making the wrong decisions in business or in love, we may need to learn why we insist on defeating ourselves. Why are you insisting on defeating yourself? If you're always going to wrong decisions in business and love. Most of us do improve. We learn. We grow from our mistakes slowly. It happens slowly in increments. Our relationships improve. Our business choices improve when you're on this journey, when you're looking at yourself, when you're looking at where you've been going wrong so you can correct. Um, then, then things start to improve slowly. Our decisions about how to handle situations with friends or children improve. We benefit from our mistakes and we benefit from our past. Now our past can be can serve us, even though it was chaotic and destructful. And if we have made mistakes, we need to make them in order to learn along the way. It's okay. Here's your prayer for today. Today, I will let go of my fears about trusting myself because I have made mistakes in the past. I understand that these fears only serve to impair my judgment today. I will give my past, even my mistakes, validity, validity by accepting and being grateful for it all. Accepting and grateful. I recognized just a few moments ago, oh, I'm in a state of acceptance. It was like a numb feeling and like a serene, really down. But I was like, oh, this is acceptance. I'm accepting things. I'm accepting things in a new way. Sorry, I interrupt, interrupted the prayer. Okay, <clears throat> today, I will let go of my fears. Here's your prayer. Today, I will let go of my fears about trusting myself because I have made mistakes in the past. I understand that these fears only serve to impair my judgment today. I will give my past, even my mistakes, validity by accepting and being grateful for it all. I will strive to see what I've gained from my mistakes. I will try to look at all my good decisions too. I will keep a watchful eye for improvement for overall progress in my life. Amen. Keep a watch for your progress, for your improvements, but what you seek, you shall find. So if you're looking for solutions, if you're looking for where you're doing good, if you're looking for where you have improved, you'll see those things. If you're looking for where you're going wrong and where everything's falling apart, you'll find that too. So seek and you shall find. So be careful what you are looking for because you will find it. So let's focus on good. Let's focus on the positive and watch, keep a watchful eye for improvement progress, and progress in our lives. Amen. Thanks for watching. Love you all. I'm super grateful for you uh, on this improvement journey. Please hit subscribe, the subscribe button down there. Give me a thumbs up over there, I think, uh, or it might be the other way around. <laughs> and let me know you're on the journey with me and that you're liking these videos and they're, they're helpful. So uh, thanks for watching. Namaste. Love you all. Bye.